Hey guys, Dave with PeeWiseParadise.com and I'm showing you my secret to how I do what I do. Lots and lots and lots of caffeine. That is the big secret. So, now the secret's out. Lots of new stuff today. Huge, huge shipments have come in today. So we're going to try to blow through them really quickly. Um, I wanted to tell you guys that I did a resealing video, like a how-to pro tips on resealing. Uh, so that video is going to be coming up probably tonight, sometime around Freebie Friday. Also, um, I plan to do a short video, and that's why I actually have this out here um, on shipping and kind of like a, uh, a little bit of reasoning and maybe try to help people out with uh, plant and fish shipping because it seems like a lot of hobbyist guys that are just getting into this are not taking the weather very seriously and I think it actually is very detrimental to uh, shipments and you know insulation is not that difficult it does take a little time but it is you know the the reward you know of keeping the plants safe and healthy is totally worth you know a little bit of time you put in to to make it nice so anyway uh, moving along I'm gonna go ahead and just try to go through these really quick um, we got our five for eight deal again our five bunches for eight bucks that's coming up yet again, um, and it looks like it's going to be really good. And this is a quick look at that. This is a lot of what you'll end up getting. I have some Luigia broadleaf, some Bacopa, uh, water wisteria, it's creeping Charlie. You can tell by the way it smells. It smells just like a mint plant. So, and I think that some people use it. As such but I've never tried it and I'm not going to so if you've done that let me know uh, this week we got a ton of crit or we got a ton of Anubias in and I think we're gonna do some kind of Anubias special now that I've got more grow bedroom I've got room for lots of new plants so we got tons of new stuff this is a uh, this is a barteri plant it's a small barteri Let's see I've got some uh, this is Nana this is Barteri V Nana. When look, I mean, if you look at this, that's a that's a pretty nice small plant without having to go like totally nano with the uh, with the petite kind. So those are super cool. I'm really glad we got those in. I got some massive <laughs> massive banana plants in here because I know a lot of people really like the banana plants, and I like them too. And I think they're pretty cool. It's a nice little unique thing to put in the tank. And they don't require a whole lot lighting wise. I mean, I've kept them in under T8s and just stock lighting. So check, the, check that out. I mean, this is, these are awesome. These are big, nice banana plants. And they're relatively cheap. I don't know what the pricing is yet on them. I'm so swamped that I haven't even begun to start on that. But hopefully all this stuff will be listed up tonight. And uh, you guys can get your orders in. If you get them in tonight, um, I may be able to process them tomorrow, Saturday. But... If not, it'll be, it'll be Monday. So, either way, it'll just be a few days before we start shipping out. Um, got some Crypt Pontederifolia. Pon Pontederifolia. Yeah, that sounds right. And these are cool. I mean, I've kept these for a few years now off and on. They're just like the other Crypts in that they don't grow super fast, but they do have a nice uh, kind of spade shape to them. And they stay this big. They don't get much bigger than that. At least the ones I've always kept don't. So that's a real cool plus to them. And they're different. They're a lot different than, you know, your WinTI Crips. So that's always nice to get some variance in there. Uh, more swords. We've got tons and tons of swords. And, I mean, no joke, like, I'm filling the grow beds up. So um, we got these red Reuben swords, which are looking super healthy. These are nice big already. So... You buy these and you're going to have something that's just ready to go and already looking good. Uh, more Anubius Nangi, which is that newer Anubius plant. A little bit off the beaten path of this one. It's got a nice nice shape to it. And it looks like they stay about this size. They might get a little bit bigger uh, height wise, but for the most part they're just going to spread. So your Anubius are all very low demand plants they don't need any kind of special lighting for the most part and they seem to do okay so that's why i'm kind of stocking them because i know a lot of people want some kind of variance and they don't want to spend a lot on their lighting so awesome uh, we've got some 
narrow leaf chain sword. And this looks like immersed growth, and I'm saying that because obviously because of up here where it's flowering. Um, but these guys do transition very easily, and I mean these are super super healthy. So I'm really happy about those. What else do we got going on? More swords. Oh wait, no, we got a, a crit or a Nubius Frazieri. And these are actually quite big. See how big those are. And this is one portion. I mean, so, and all these guys are this size. So, you order a Frazier, you're getting something like that, which is cool. So, I'm impressed with that. And all these are going to be priced really good. Like I said, we're going to do a sale on them. So, uh, so if you are into Anubias or you plan to do like an Anubias low, low light tank or whatever, this is going to be your time. Oh, we got some Madagascar lace bulbs. Because we've had a couple people uh, asking about them. I think that most of them may be spoken for, but there may be a few available. I'm, I made sure to get extras. Java Moss for some reason in a vacuum pack. <laughs> so we got Java Moss available. Um, we were out of it for a while. There's some um, Red Ozzelot sword. And those are cool. I'm, I'm going to do another video once I get everything in for you guys. There's more Ozzelots. I'll do a video once we get everything in the grow beds and all that, so don't worry, there'll be more uh, more time spent on a lot of these plants. I really do want to start the species profiles and all that soon, so if I get to it, there's some radican marbles, which are one of my favorites, the queen radican marbles, uh, more valves, corkscrews, sorry I'm making this really fast, but i got so many to go through, so... And this is just not even half of it, so I'm sorry for the super long video, but we'll try to try to keep this as expedient as possible. There is a radican sword, and as you can see, these radicans are already quite large as well. So the cool thing about buying swords this size is you go to put them in the tank. And they're good to go. I mean, they're not like, you're not waiting for weeks for them to grow up and get big and all that. So, so when they come in big like that, I'm really happy with them. We've got more red flame swords. Red flame. And they look good. They're healthy. So, happy about those. What else? Um, oh, wow. Uh, jungle valves. These are, these are the red variant jungle valves. I'll pull one out for you guys so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, and they're, I mean, the reason why they call them red jungle valves is because, like, towards the top, you put them under high light and they'll actually turn, like, a reddish color. But it kind of, it's kind of brownish reddish. But, I mean, as you can see, these jungle valves are really nice, big, and healthy. So, I mean, they're, like, two feet long. <laughs> so, so, I've got a lot of those in. And I've also got um, regular jungle valves in somewhere. So... Which I haven't seen them yet, but I'm assuming that they're probably in good shape because everything else is. Uh, we got two kinds of water sprite this time. We got the Indian fern type, which is like the bigger, it's got the bigger leaves on it. And then also a lace fern type, which has a more uh, smaller leaf to it. Sorry if it's out of focus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, one other cool thing. I have, in fact, been keeping the carnivorous plants alive. So... Um, so I did get a couple more, and I got a couple more of the Scarlet Bells, and this is one of the Scarlet Bells right here. This is one of the Scarlet Bells, and this one actually looks like it, it hasn't been under a whole lot of light because the reds really aren't coming out on it, but they will, and this species is a very, it's got a really nice red and white pattern, so it is one of my favorites, favorites of the uh, pitcher plant so far. More jungle valves. Check them out. God, these are gigantic jungle valves. Look at those things. They're healthy, green, good shape. What else? Um, a uh, Nubius coffee folia. It's a Nubius coffee folia. It's got a little damage on it, but overall it looks green and healthy. Except for dropping it. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, they're, they look really good. So they're nice and healthy, and they're all got, you know, six, eight plus leaves on them. I mean, these are really nice quality, quality plants. So even though they're on sale, does not mean that they're going to be 
uh, bargain bin type stuff. But they're actually really good quality plants, and I mean they'll rival anything you'll find in the pet store. So uh, that's that, and I've got just a ton of Bacopa, uh, Caroliniana, and Monieri. So those two may be going on the sale. I don't know for sure yet, but but we definitely got a lot of this Bacopa Caroliniana, which is like it's also called uh, lemon Bacopa. Because if you ever break the stem on it or one of the leaves and you smell it, it actually smells just like lemons. And it's a really cool plant. It's actually native to much of the southeast. I see it a lot of times when I'm out collecting fish or fishing or whatever. So it's a cool plant. I don't typically collect from the wild just because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of regulations involved, but also because um, you know when I get stuff from the farm, I know that it's healthy. I know that it doesn't have diseases, and I know that it's been re taken really good care of. So that's the biggest thing, you know, I'm trying not to put a lot of unknowns in there if I can help it. And we got a bunch, bunch, bunch of money wart in here. No joke. These bunches are nice. And as you can see, they're already getting a lot of roots on them. So there's no worry about not having roots. So there a lot of them are already rooted in. And as you can see, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight probably eight or so stems per bunch and these are going to probably be on sale so stay tuned for those